Hey folks, how you doing? Papa Joe here again. Hey, uh, you know, we lost another family member tonight. Well, actually last night. Uh, he was a cousin of mine. Lived hard, played hard, died hard. Uh, he's approximately 10 years my senior. Me and him used to work together a lot. Did a lot of stuff together. Some good, not some not so good. Uh, I got away from that lifestyle and he didn't. Uh, here he is up in his 60s and for the last five years he's been on oxygen and all kinds of stuff. Uh, like I said, he played hard and worked hard and he did a lot of other hard stuff. And it finally bit him in the butt. The uh, last few years was really hard on him. Uh, every time I'd talk to somebody, they'd tell me how they didn't think he'd make it through another week. But he held on and fought it for a few more years. You know, and he drove truck for a while too. Drove it hard. Back in cab over days. At one point in one of the videos I told you about one of my cousin's wives that was driving a cab over and she'd kick the steering wheel up and she'd stand up no bigger in a minute and she'd just crank on that no power steering and she would back that truck into places. Well, that was his ex-wife. But, uh, there's so many of us. One of us said it today when me and him was talking was that uh, if I known it was gonna be this hard on me and I'd lived this long, I wouldn't have done a whole lot of stuff I did in my youth. I know, I didn't listen to my elders either. But y'all ought to take heed. If you ain't up my age yet, you need to stop and think about it. You might live to be my age and the aches and pains that we've got today because of yesterday they get rough on you. They really do. Now, Buddy lived the life that he wanted to live. You know, there's no, I feel sorry for him or none of that. He knew what he was doing. Like I said, me and him was real tight there for several years, uh, back in my construction days. And uh, his whole motto, if one makes you feel good, then 10 ought to make you feel great. And that's how he went about life. He overindulged in a lot of stuff in life. And you have to pay for it down the road, and he did. Uh, as I got away from that lifestyle and whatnot, we grew apart. But that's okay, that happens at times. Moral of this story is, is if you're still young enough, you need to slow her down. You need to think about them years down the road. They're going to be hard on you. I know they're hard, hard on me and Ma. We aching and painting because it's fun, fun stuff we did back in the days. You know, it ain't so much fun now. Good memories, but we're like, damn, we was hard on our bodies. Remember, God loves you, and so do I. You need to slow down. Think about what you're doing. You truck drivers, these hands, they're not hammers. Back there beating on stuff on them door latches and stuff. Been there, done it. You know, kicking them tires with your foot. A lot of that stuff you don't think's going to hurt. And it don't hurt you now. Down the road, cracking them knuckles. I used to do that all the time. And now my knuckles, my hands hurt. Oh, big time. Because I always was cracking them. And I had the old man tell me, man, you don't want to keep cracking them knuckles. Keep popping them knuckles. You're going to pay for it. I am. I didn't listen no more than y'all are going to listen to me. I love you and so do God does. Blah, 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 blah. I love you and God loves you too. Y'all have a great evening. Need a little bit of old man advice now. Good night. <laughs>